let's look at relations versus functions. For example, for each relation below, decide whether or not it is a function. Now, a relation is a relationship between sets of information, but with a specific order. In other words, it is a set of ordered pairs. Each pair has a first component and a second component. And the set of first components is what we call the domain of the relation. And the set of second components is what we call the range of the relation. Each value of the first component is sent to an element of the second component. That is, we can write this first relation here as the following set. So the value 4 in the first component gets sent to the value f. In the second component. And 9 gets sent to F. Negative 3 gets sent to W. 2 gets sent to F. And 7 gets sent to F. And the second relation. Is a set tree gets sent to nine paper gets sent to one moon gets sent to negative six and cloud gets sent to negative four and finally relation three. Is a set negative 9 gets sent to negative 9, 9 gets sent to 9, negative 6 gets sent to negative 9, 7 gets sent to negative 9, and negative 5 gets sent to negative 9, but also negative 5 gets sent to 9. Now, a function is a special type of a relation. In a function, no two ordered pairs have the same first component. That is, for each first component in the domain, there is exactly one second component. So let's write that here. In order for a relation to be a function, for each first component, In the domain, there is exactly one second component. So now looking at our relations here, both relation 1 and relation 2, yes, are functions, but relation 3 is not. Because negative 5 gets sent to two different second components here, negative 9 and 9, as shown here in this figure. So negative 5 is mapped to negative 9 as well as 9. So no, this is not a function. Yes, this is a function, and yes, this is a function. All right, and this is how we decide whether a relation is a function. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.